This video is to show you how you can customize your restorative charting area. So to start off with, we're going to go to any patient file and click on restorative charting. This view that you see here is the default view within Practica. So when you first log in, this is likely what you're going to be seeing in your restorative chart, unless you've already made some customizations. Now, the first thing that I like to do is to show my clinical notes and x-rays or images. To do that, I'm going to focus on this right hand side of the screen. There is an expand function. So I'm going to click here and drag this towards the center. There is a second expand function. So I want you to keep your eyes on this one and then follow my mouse over to the very right hand side of the screen. There is a second function here. I can click and drag this one out to the center of the screen as well. Now I am viewing my clinical notes, which this is a brand new patient, so they don't have any yet. And this black area at the bottom is for any images or x-rays that are saved in that patient file. There's also a function here that we can, you know, resize those areas, but I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. So now I can see my clinical notes, x-rays, conditions and recommended treatment all within the same screen. When you are happy with how this all looks, you have to remember to save your view preferences. Now, if I were to just press save on the bottom of the screen here and then close, it's not going to save my actual view preferences. It will save the charting and any changes that I've made to this patient chart, but not my view. I need to go to the left hand side of the screen. At the very bottom, we have got an option here called view options and I have to press save in here. So now, even when I close out of my charting and go back in, it's going to look exactly the same as it was before. There are also some other things that you can change around. So once again, we're going to go to that left-hand side at the bottom, I'm going to click on our view options. There are some things in here that you can change. So the first is a compact chart. That's just going to change what this actual charting looks like rather than more of a tooth shape. It's the generic round charting shape. Um, personal preference. I like this one a little bit more because I find it gives me a larger surface area to be able to select, but you can do whatever works best for you. There are quite a few other options in place here. I won't go through all of them because they are fairly self-explanatory and you can just have a play around to see what works best for you but I do want to bring to your attention this chart configuration because it's a popular question that we get, how to show supernumerary teeth. There is a, an option in here called show supernumerary. You will need to make sure that that is turned on. You can also show surface helpers in here. And when you do that, it will show you M, O, D, it can be really helpful for um, dental assistants um, if they are still learning about the teeth and surfaces. All right, now I will also show you this manage treatment buttons option. This one refers to these options down the bottom of the screen here for our treatment chart. Now, at the moment, we've got very a very standard charting view here. We have pretty much everything in place. Um, and then these options at the bottom, you can select to get further options available. Now, by going to my view options, manage treatment buttons, we can change those around. So I can get rid of anything that I don't need. Let's say I don't do any implants at my practice. I can remove the implant option, the crown for implants, abutments, pontics, get rid of anything that is not of use to me that I'm not going to be using so that I can free up some space. The same thing goes for all of these other ones here. It's just a formatting thing. We can also drag these around if you want to. So if you have a particular place that you want things to, to go, just drag them until you're happy with how they look. You can also create your own customized treatment preset buttons. Now I will show you next where you can go to do this. But once you've got those buttons created, all you have to do is find them over here 
and drag them to the spot where you want them to show. So I've just put in a root canal three visit. This is one that I've created myself because it suits my needs. So I'm, go I'm gonna get rid of the standard root canal preset because it doesn't quite fit what I'm looking for at my practice. I can add in my post and core, my band and pin. And again, I can put those wherever I want them to go. So lay this out however works best for you. The thing to remember is anything that you do in this space will only affect you. Any other users within the practice, have they, they will have the ability to do this for themselves. So if you want to show root canals, crowns, things like that, go for your life. If you have hygienists who maybe don't need those options, but they want uh, periodontal options in place instead, they can do that. Everyone has a unique view. When we're happy, we will press save and that's done. So now you'll see these options at the bottom are vastly different than they were before. And it's gonna really help us to um, sort of speed along our charting process, which I'll go into detail with in another video. The final thing that we're going to look at to customize our charting actually happens in the management area of Practica. So I'm going to click on my management and there are two areas that I want to bring to your attention. The first is charts. This is where we can set what color schemes we want to see within our charting. There's also an option at the top here, allow supernumerary teeth charting. This is a really important one to have ticked if you are needing to do that supernumerary teeth. Maybe you've got a patient with extra wisdom teeth. Turn it on within this management charts area. Then you can go ahead and change your conditions. So perhaps we want our existing treatment um, for crowns to be pink instead of gray. Maybe we want our zirconia to be uh, purple, for example. We can also add in different icons so that they will just appear slightly differently. You can do the same thing for all of these different types and just remember to press save on this lower right hand side when you are finished. The final area that I'm going to show you for the customization is again within management, treatment presets. This is where we create those customizable buttons that you can add to the charting. Now, I have a whole other video on this one. So um, I'll pop the link uh, in, the, in the notes for this video so that you can get more details. But essentially, you're going to create your treatment preset and you must select add button to chart and you can give it a different color and a label if you want to. But if you've got this one ticked, add button to chart, you will have the ability to show that button within your restorative charting. If it's not ticked, it will not show as an option for you. Again, if you make any changes to this area, you must remember to press save at the bottom. I hope this has helped. There will be quite a few other videos coming for the rest of the restorative charting to guide you through the process, but this is an overview of how to customize your view preferences. Thank you.